it's kind of what I was afraid of. I thought that maybe uh, the snow would be hard enough for me to stay on top, but clearly not. It's deep, so I'm going to try and figure something out here. guys so we're in off that road here and uh, I was able to get the grizzly back up on top of the snow I'm running pretty low pressure too on the grizzly for being a big boar which not really big boar anymore but fairly light but uh, if you had another bike that was heavier you might have issues but yeah so we're up here I'm just gonna uh, get my stuff set up and uh, yeah it's a beautiful spot maybe we'll go for a walk down over the hill is a really nice little brook down there I've been down there snowshoeing a few times. I wish I would have brought my snowshoes because it's the snow's deep. <laughs> Holy shit, that was recording the whole time. All right.
All right, guys. Well, it took a little while to get set up because I had to cut some big stakes and put them deep in the snow, pack them all in. Then I threw snow all around the snow skirt, got all my stuff inside, and of course my uh, camera battery got too cold because it's pretty cold here today, and it's dropping now. I can feel it. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're all set up there now. I just switched the bike around so it's facing the right way. I'll be able to just leave tomorrow after I pack up. I uh, didn't get stuck up there, so it must have just been a soft spot that I hit there. So this is still pretty good. If I stomp, I'll fall through. It goes up to about my knee. But anyways, let's take a let's take a peek at the setup. All right. So this is the one of my favorite. Uh, mine's a little bit on the lean here because I'm a little bit on a hill. I really should have built it down here, but I was also worried that if an ATV or something does come, I'd be blocking the road, and I didn't want to do that. So that's why she's a little bit lopsided. <laughs> But uh, yeah, anyways, this is uh, this is one of my favorite tents, or this is my favorite tent that Pomali sent me. It's part of their Hex series. And uh, I think it's a two to four person tent, but personally I think one person with gear and a uh, big dog like myself here. Oh, somebody's on the bed. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, this is the setup. Now I'm using this stove that Pomali sent me too, and uh, this is part of their Traveler series. And this one doesn't quite fold totally up, just the legs fold up, and obviously the stove pipe and everything come off, and they fit into a beautiful little bag. But uh, yeah, so that's all titanium, and uh, I gotta thank Pomali so much. They've been so great with uh, helping out my channel and donating gear and tents and stuff for my giveaway that I still have to do. But yeah, so that's part of their Traveler series, and that has a. Uh, has a window on the side of it too so it'll throw some nice light and of course my best bud Wendell he comes on all the trips he's a little bit cold so I'm gonna get the fire going so this here is my A or E active uh, cot which I got off of eBay you guys see me use that I use it in all my trips just because it's so small and it, it's comfortable and it's a hell of a lot less than the I think it's Helinex or Helinox or somebody makes one so then I have my my red uh, wool blanket, and sandwiched between that is my uh, Thermarest ultralight uh, blow-up mattress, and then of course my winter sleeping bag. And this time, I brought my winter black one, and then the summer green one to go inside of each other. So that should give me extra warmth when the fire does go out. And I'm trying out this pillow. This is an inflatable pillow. I always just usually wrap up my uh, my sweater or something just to keep me warm but uh, you want me to leave that over you little buddy <laughs> but yeah anyways you get lots of water and stuff I tell you pulling that sled really helps uh, I brought lots of wood from home because I didn't want to cut any here on this guy's land thankfully he still let me camp here I met him real nice guy how many people have an indoor fridge when they go camping I know that Josh Gammon guy is not smart enough to do this. He'd be bringing ice packs and stuff. But, uh, yeah. Right by the foot of the bed, so I'll just be able to grab them. Plan on sitting here and doing some reading tonight, too. So, obviously, the Grizzlies there. I got my two-inch hit, uh, hitch receiver, and then the hitch that my I towed the Grizzly here on. I had to take the ball off, but no problem. And it just clips right on there. These two bars, and then uh, there's open-eyed... Uh, Eyelets there that clip on, which I'm probably going to end up getting rid of, and uh, get ones that have a snap so that these things can't really pop off. I'll show you what I mean. So yeah, it's easy to get on and off, but they uh, it's popped off once on the road in, and then it popped off once when I was just messing around here with it. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's not too bad. And then this just slides in with a little pin through it and it also came with this cover and this cover is actually not bad I uh, it's like I thought it was gonna like blow off or something but it hasn't blown off it's gotten wet because I went through some water and it's kept all my stuff dry so the model so it's made by Chappelle it's called a jet sled and I don't know what Eagle Claw is if that's the model of this one or not but uh, she's a Canadian tire special Nothing uh, too fancy for us. Worked well. Oh, you come out of the bed, did you? Get a bunch of snow on your feet and then bring it back inside. Hey, 
You heard those squirrels. Are they bugging you again? Find them. Go get them. All right, guys. Well, we're all set up here. Good to go. Everything is in order. Might go out later and just, uh, there's a dead tree over there, maybe collect a little bit uh, small stuff. Just because it's nice if the fire does glow, we'll throw a few small things in there, lights up quick. But anyways, uh, yeah, everything's done. So that's definitely rule number one. Uh, you're going to want to get everything set up before you start cracking beers or things start going a little half-ass. <laughs> anyway, so everything's set up, you know what that means. Going to crack a beer. I think what we'll do is uh, start off with my favorite. Of course, Nine Locks Frig Off. I was passing through Nova Scotia the other day. Oh, down by uh, Mass Town and... Figured I would uh, swing in and grab a few of these. Ah, oh, delicious beer. All right, I'll get the fire going for you. I uh, forgot the, I like to bring a little piece of wood to put under the center post so that it doesn't sink in the snow. I forgot it. I don't want to waste a piece of my firewood, so I just fold up an extra tarp I had on itself a bunch of times and it seems to be working fine. Same with the stove. I usually put a piece of uh, plywood under it and I forgot the plywood. I also forgot Wendell's bowl, so he has to eat right out of his dish and figure something out for the kibble. <laughs> but we're going to get uh, some supper going and have a good supper tonight and I do a hot chicken sandwich and uh, I actually got some hot sauce sent to me more hot sauce <laughs> this stuff I bought before I like I buy it all the time and I just happened to reach out to the guy and tell him how much I like his sauce and we got chatting away and he checked out my profile and offered to send me a few bottles of it so it's perfect <gasps> it's the, my favorite buffalo wing sauce for sure and it's made just across the river in Riverview. So that's great. Support someone local. Great guy. And he's also uh, tinkering with some other stuff. He's always cooking up neat stuff. So he's got some hot honey and he's got some all kinds of stuff. I'm going to put a link to his Instagram uh, down in the description. So definitely take a check, it, check out that. If you're into that stuff, especially if you're local. So yeah, we got a hot chicken sandwich and a Caesar salad with real bacon bits. Well, just uh, got the fire going, just trying to get some nice coals built up, finish the uh, first beer. Oh, chill out. I got one of those food sitting there and it's uh, kind of warming up next to the fire a bit. I'm going to have my second beer here. This is Gahan 1772 India Pale Ale. Strong beer. Gahan is a uh, restaurant actually here in Moncton. I think it's a chain, like kind of like a fancy chain a bit, kind of like the keg is. Not quite as fancy, but they make their own beer. And last time I was there, I liked this. I think I had this kind, so figured I'd give her a try again. I don't know if you guys near Wendell whimpering because he wants his food, but you hungry? Okay, get it. It's the only dish I had. It's the dish I had his wet food in, so I'll dump some of his. I mixed some kibble in already with, uh, of course, his wet food that I make with a bunch of different vegetables. Uh, there's chicken hearts, gizzards, livers, and a bunch of different vegetables like carrots. There's some beans. Tiny, tiny bit of spinach, but not a lot. Some peas. You know, got to keep them uh, as healthy as I can. They get old, and you start feeding them those junky treats that you buy at Costco. 
it's not uh, it's not good for them. Fire's going. Everything's going good. I'm gonna probably get a few sticks and prop it under each leg just to so it doesn't sink in the snow a lot. But we're gonna get uh, supper going here. I got the chicken breast cut in half, lengthwise. Marinating here and a little bit of spices, some an egg and some milk. Got some breading. I'm gonna do a double dip so it gets nice and thick batter. Hopefully. I'm gonna do the this is my Coleman uh Kendall doesn't like the the pan for some reason, but uh the Coleman pan and I have some avocado oil that uh I plan on frying it in so Plus a nice bun and a Caesar salad, like I said earlier. Just cut out the romaine, throwing on some uh, bacon bits that I made last night. Ooh wee! Tell me that doesn't look nice. Chicken is done. Paint on some uh, Scott's Kitchen Gourmet Hot Sauce. And this is Buffalo Hickory. This is one of my favorite hot sauces when I do wings at home. This is my, this or Dave's from Nova Scotia is my two favorites. Of course, the uh, ones from Maritime Hot Sauce, too, have uh, become some of my favorites, too. But uh, this one here is probably my favorite. I've got some fresh Parmesan cheese for our Caesar. Came out a bit clumpy, but that's okay. Grated it last night. And, of course, anytime I'm making a burger or sandwich... Better believe I'm putting pickles on there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got uh, supper, hot chicken sandwich, Caesar salad. Like me a good Caesar salad. Not a lot of nutrients, but tasty nonetheless. Let's try out our hot chicken sandwich. Drop the pickle. Oh. Man, that is good. I was so hungry. Haven't eaten since uh, probably 8.30 this morning. Scott's Kitchen. Big thank you to you guys. Uh, really appreciate uh, you guys sending me those sauces. I would have bought them anyways, but... Anyways, guys. I'm going to finish this up. And I'll get back with you in a bit. Alright guys, supper is done. It was absolutely delicious. Got everything cleaned up here now. Wendell had a couple pieces of chicken. I'm going to have another beer. It's going to be my third one. This one is Greystone Brewing uh, Single Track. And I really like this one. What are you doing, boy? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to have this beer and... Uh, Relax by the fire. Well, guys, a little after seven here. Wendell is just enjoying the fire. I got her going pretty good here now. Lots of wood, so we should be good for the night. I'm 
just enjoying a beer. Still sipping on this Greystone single track. I'm going to restart this book. It is uh, Empire of the Summer Moon by S.C. Gwenin. Hopefully I said that right. Started a little while ago and uh, got sidetracked and uh, kind of forget everything I read. So I might just start reading it over and uh, see how far we get. Perfect time just to read here at night. It's not much else going on. She's pretty cold out there. It's supposed to snow. So I'm supposed to get a few centimeters. But yeah. Anyways, if uh, I'll get back with you guys in a little bit. Hey right, guys, it's about 11.30. Just threw a nice chunk of hardwood there on the fire. Probably catch up with you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. Got up around 6.30 and kind of was just getting everything situated here. It was kind of a mess from last night. A little bit of a headache, probably because of the well, five tall boys I drank. Those beers are strong too, so. We had an okay sleep. It's really windy. We had uh, snow and then it uh, kind of had some freezing rain and then it got windy. So it was just one thing after another and I was kind of worried about that pipe and the wind held up okay I think but uh, just getting some coffee here on the go and uh, oh I should show that this was the coffee that I bought on my last ATV trip the Piccadilly uh, coffee roasters Sussex New Brunswick Jingle Java this is their Christmas blend but I can drink it in February just getting uh Nice pour over here, and uh, using a new mug that uh, some uh, subscribers sent me, Boucher family. I know that their kids, uh, Gavin and Gemma, they watch all the time. They sent uh, they sent me too much stuff, to be honest with you. So I, I do appreciate it, but. Uh, yeah, they even sent Wendell a Yeti dog bowl. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah, I was super pumped about this cup. It's, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, it's kind of like an army green color and keeps the coffee a little hotter. My favorite part of the morning too, so. We're gonna get some coffee on the go. And, uh, yeah, then probably get some breakfast. Oh, that's a nice coffee, though. So, yeah, thanks a lot, uh, Boucher family, especially Gavin and Gemma. So, I appreciate the mug. Uh, I actually use this one quite often. The wife actually really likes this one. Well, I made uh, hash browns instead of a regular potato last time I was out. I liked it so much, I figured I'd do it again. I got some onions in there now, about a half of a Spanish onion. Crisp up those, and we'll throw in some bacon. This is a pork smoked back bacon from uh, Baudreau Meats. It's almost like a, almost looks like a slice of ham a bit, really. Hmm? What do you think? Pretty good, eh? Got the bacon, two types. Probably give most of that to Wendell, like I said. And then we got some fried potatoes with onions. Hard to beat that. I had an egg and I completely forgot about it, so I'll take it home. 
What do you think? Try these potatoes first. Mmm. I didn't have any seasoning. Usually I put a little bit of Lowry's or garlic on there. Forgot it at home. Typical me. Smoked bacon there from, uh, it's more like a thinly sliced ham. That's nice. Made myself another cup of coffee. One's not enough, obviously. Well, we're gonna eat this and uh, probably start getting packed up because it's kind of miserable and I'd like to go home and see my daughter. Well guys, it is cold. You guys can see the breath. Uh, it's cold and it's windy, which usually doubles it up. Hopefully the camera battery will last a bit. But uh, yeah, we're just doing the kind of quick and dirty uh, cleanup. I'm throwing everything just here in the sled. I'll throw the cover on the sled. Yeah, it says it's minus 10, but with the wind it says it's minus 20. So oh, there goes the camera battery's dying here now. So I gotta get cleaned up. Cold start the Grizzly, minus 20 all night. Not bad, not bad at all. Wendell's hanging outside. Well guys, as you can see, we made her back to the truck. Can't keep a battery and a camera to save my life. I mean, the second I get one in and get it turned on, by the time I'm getting ready to go, it's already dead, so. Actually, this one here is looking like it's going to die here now anyway. But yeah, anyways, it was a great trip. I had a real good time. Learned some new stuff too, which I seem to do every time. I forget stuff and then I learn new stuff when I'm out there. It was kind of cool doing the big stakes in the snow. I haven't had to do that yet, so that was nice. I cleaned up all my mess, of course, and a big thank you to Paul. the landowner there. He let me camp there. He was a super nice guy. He owns like 80 acres there. It's beautiful in there too. I wanted to go down the hill to show you the little river but uh, it was just so cold today and there's no way I was getting the drone up in this and obviously the cameras are hurting so Wendell's tired here so he's beat and uh, I want to go home to see my little girl so I guess the wife would be nice to see too but uh, mostly uh, Annabelle but yeah anyways I'll stop rambling man I appreciate you guys clicking on my video and showing support all the time thank you to like Palmali and all the different companies Olight that have sent me different things I appreciate it, and I love testing it out. I'll uh, see you guys on the next one. Cheers.